This uh, huge crater right here, some 10 meters wide, a few meters deep, is what's left over after an Israeli missile landed here in the middle of the night. And this is a clear illustration of what we saw throughout the night, the violent confrontation between Hamas and other Palestinian factions uh, and Israel continues. Now, I want to show you why Israel most likely shot this missile right here. Just a few meters away, we have what's left over of a firing device used by the Palestinian militants uh, to fire rockets at uh, Israel. You can see the tubes right here that the rockets uh, actually are fired out of. And there's also uh, a part of the uh, uh, firing device left right here. This, um, these batteries right here, basically you plug this. You see a switch right here, zero, one. This shows that uh, this was used, and this, these batteries are still warm. So you can tell that this was used very recently, probably last night in the middle of the night, which explains this violent activity right next to the hotel we're staying, just a few hundred uh, meters away, shattering pretty much every single ra window uh, in a radius of up to 200 to 300 meters. And I want to take you to another site as well, just as revealing of the kind of activity that's going on uh, these past uh, few days. Just on the other side of this wall, very interesting to see uh, these uh, objects right here that look very much like shells, those same missiles uh, that are being shot by militants at, at Israel. The only difference is that these ones are made out of plastic. These are decoys right here, fake shells, right next to the kind of truck uh, that's usually used to carry heavy weaponry in the Gaza Strip and other places. Now this most likely being uh, a lure uh, f put out here, positioned out here by militants uh, in order to uh, attract or divert Israel's attention. And again, this, uh, as there were rumors of a ceasefire abounding last night, but uh, nothing of that going on out here as the violence continues.